We can connect traditional USB-C thumb drives on mobile devices, either to copy photos and videos from the smartphone or tablet, or to copy movies to the USB drive to watch them offline on the smartphone, or even back up your smartphone data to an external USB drive. But if your smartphone or tablet with the Android operating system is not detecting the USB drive, I will show you how to solve that problem and make it work for the smartphone to recognize external USB devices because you need to activate the OTG function which allows you to connect USB-A or USB-C drives via the USB charging plug on the mobile device. But first, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. So to connect this thumb drive on mobile devices like this smartphone, you need to have a USB device formatted in the file system XFAT or FAT32, a file system compatible with Android, and then activate the OTG connection on the smartphone. If I take this smartphone here and connect the thumb drive on the USB-C plug, now I open the file explorer and it didn't detect any external storage. It is only detecting the local storage. We are going to remove the thumb drive and now we are going to plug it on the computer to format the USB device and copy the files and try again on the smartphone. On the computer we open the file explorer. On the left side I already have the files I want to copy. Now we are going to connect the thumb drive. It is already detecting the USB device. If I open it there are some folders. But let's format the USB device. So right click on the drive and press the option Format. Right here we are formatting the correct USB drive in the file system. It also has the option NTFS but we'll choose XFAT to be compatible with Android. Choose Quick Formatting and click Start. It only takes a few seconds and the formatting is completed. If we open the device again we can see that it's completely empty without files or folders. Now I will copy this photo and also a small video to the USB drive. So we can see these photos and videos on the smartphone. Ctrl C to copy and now Ctrl V to paste on the USB drive. The files are on the USB device. I'm going to eject the USB drive from the computer and remove it. At this moment, this thumb drive has one photo and one video. With the USB drive formatted in the XFAT file system and with the files copied, we are going to connect the thumb drive on the smartphone, although it still won't work. It's connected, but it didn't detect anything because the OTG connection is not activated yet. So let's remove it. To activate the connection, open the settings. Go to the bottom of the settings and choose System Settings. Then look for the OTG connection and activate it. Press the slider and now it's ready. Now open the File Explorer again. Now with the thumb drive formatted with the correct file system and the OTG connection activated on the smartphone, let's connect the thumb drive. Let's see if it works now and it's detecting the external USB device with 124 gigabytes. Open that device and because we are on an Android system, several common storage folders are created. But here we have the two files copied. The photo as we saw on the computer, exactly, and the video that I can play. So everything is accessible directly from the USB device. And so we formatted this thumb drive in a file system compatible with Android mobile devices and activated the OTG connection on the smartphone to recognize USB external devices. So you can copy contents to the thumb drive on the computer, such as photos, videos or movies, to be able to watch them offline and then just plug it in your smartphone with the OTG connection and you will be able to watch those photos, videos, documents or movies directly from the USB device connected to your smartphone. And that's what you need to do 
format the USB drive in a file system compatible with the Android system because in some Androids the NTFS file system may not work and activate the OTG connection on the device. And like that, you can easily access the files on the thumb drives on any device. Or if you want, back up your smartphone data to an external USB drive. If this process still doesn't work on your smartphone, check out other solutions on the videos on the channel. Now, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week, hit the like button and if you have any questions, write in the comments.